morning. Eight fifteen in the morning. I'm thinking about September that the mornings are cold. But there are no insects at all on this backpack. Not a single one so far. That's kind of nice. Uh, I wasn't cold. I did not pull out all the stops. I still just have my long sleeve shirt on. I could have put on my full blown puffy jacket, but I didn't have to. So that's good. And uh, yeah, I just have to rouse myself out of this warm cocoon and go get something hot into my system, as in food or coffee, and that'll help a lot with the morning chills. Wow, this is something to wake up to. Oh, oh, now that I've stood up, and my knees are sore, my back's sore, my legs are sore. And I'm definitely gonna go down to the water source and put my knees in the water before I get walking. No question. So while we're here, there's not exactly bear hangs. This is pretty much, uh, pretty much just do it yourself, back country. So I have an earth sack and I decided to put it on top of the tack shed. At least that would make it a little tougher for a prospecting bear to get at it. Ugh, mind you, if I can reach that, hopefully you don't have a bear that's problem solving enough to actually reach this cord and yank it down. Ugh. But you know, it's also a, an earth sack, right? It's a bear bag, so got half ass double protection. Oh man, the sun was just hitting over there. I had to get over this mountain and now it has. Oh, that feels nice. So, I just went down to the water and put my knees in. I've never seen uh, any backpacking YouTubers put their knees in the water. And I almost never see backpackers in general do it either. It is such a wonderful tool. It really is. It's not pleasant, but I mean, this morning my knees hurt. You know, they swelled up overnight, right? That's just what they do. And the moment you put your knees in that water, it's fixed. And that water is unbelievably cold. If you can keep your knees in there for longer than 30 seconds, you're very tough. But I mean, yeah, it's... It does wonders. It is short term pain for rest of the day gain. So my morning routine hasn't changed for food. I have oatmeal. I have uh, one thing of hot chocolate along with one thing of coffee. And then I have whey protein. Get it in there. And for the first two or three hours of the day, I will consume it. So the mornings are pretty much always packed with calories, protein, starch, that sort of thing. And then the hot chocolate and coffee gives me some sugar, right? Well, the clouds have gone behind, clouds, sun has gone behind the clouds. I don't mind though, that's the perfect day for backpacking actually. I mean, it's warm, but the sun isn't hammering on you. So almost ready to go. All right. All right, see you later, Mr. Cabin. 10 o'clock. I've never been someone who gets up and is off and running at 6 a.m. This is supposed to be the toughest trail. Where am I going here? <laughs> this is supposed to be the uh, toughest trail in the Rockies. So this should be an interesting day. Let's see if he can't uh, Bang it off. Yeah. This is what happens with the water source of the cabin. The only reason I stayed at that cabin is because I know that no uh, park staff are going to be there because I just talked to them, you know, the day before I came out here. 
to book my permits. Um, but you know, I mean, that cabin, getting to the water source is kind of a pain in the butt. So I wonder, uh, I mean, there's a nice spot for horses to go down. There's supposed to be a camp over here, about 500 meters past, which I didn't really realize until I was like already halfway unpacked at the cabin. See what the, see if that would have been a nicer place to stay. I don't know. Interesting. There's already a little bit of confusion. There's a trail here and there's a trail over there and you can see that there's been stuff cut along that trail. I know that the, believe that the camp, the camp up here is just along this creek. So as long as I'm following that, I don't think I'm going to, I will definitely reach that camp. So no big deal. But you know, there's clear evidence that this one's been used too. Here you have recent horse crap. Well, now there's no question. There's definitely nothing on this side. I can see some things chopped, so I think it is time to cross. Ugh. All right. Okay. So I saw something chopped over here. Here we go. Here's an obvious, obvious, obvious trail. All right. Okay. Back on track. I've been jumping little creeks and stuff. And these scarpas, no big deal. In July, maybe I'd be like taking off my shoes and stuff. Boy, am I ever glad I did not push on to the camp because I haven't found it. So I'd be about here now going, where the hell is this camp? Really tired, you know, and wishing I had stopped at the cabin. So yeah, sometimes it's, sometimes it's not a bad idea to just be like, okay, I see everything I need here. I'm tired, it's been a long day. Just stop and camp, right? Never mind about, oh, might be, maybe there's something, maybe the thing up ahead is nicer especially uh, out in this country, right? All right, well, moving forward through all this, uh, through this interesting trail. I can already see that this is going to be tough. I can see for myself already. It's just a slow climb, not much of one, but it's definitely enough to make you notice and feel it. I already want to take this off. I've already built up a bit of a sweat. I'm like 1.3 kilometers from the cabin, right? Yeah. They spoke the truth. This is going to be a tough, tough day. Got seven kilometers to Utram's Outlet. Oh, it's got like three or four names, Utram Falls or whatever. And uh, and then it gets really hard. <laughs> Talk about a perfect little spot for a break. You can just hear the babbling of the creek. Well, every day, I swear every day starts the same way in some fashion. You start out wanting to beat the whole world and then you realize that, you know, you're not going to just give it hard for two hours and finish the trail, so you just got to Relax, get into a rhythm, develop some patience, and chill, all right? So far, since uh, I've left that, since you come to that white sign below the cabin, it's been all forest. Uh, left the creek a little bit after the cabin, and now coming across this one. At some point, we'll see the Castle Guard River, right? Now it's not the Alexander River anymore, now the Castle Guard River. Coming along. Well, I mean, all the talk I've heard about this trail is that it's completely abandoned, but I have barely climbed over anything. I mean, clearly park staff have been to the, the cabin. I thought that cabin was basically abandoned, but no, it's still totally functional. So they've cleared up, 
you know, they bring horses, they have to clear things up, up to there. But past the cabin, like down here, I've also found a lot of work done. I'm not sure if horse parties come through here. I don't know how. I can't imagine you would bring horses over Athabasca Glacier. That sounds like a terrible idea. Or maybe they go up Watchman Lake and into the British Columbia side where there is uh, logging roads that will allow you to access that side. So, but I mean, this doesn't seem like an abandoned trail. I have barely been climbing over anything, right? I mean, the adlers and willows are, are all over the place, but that's to be expected. Horse, horse parties don't, don't generally clear those out. They just brush up against the horse's legs. So they are not really worried about it. Sweet. Castlegard River. Well, I know where I'm taking my break. Well, I had a little break back there and now I get to walk along this river like this. This is really cool. Very nice. Oh, nice reward for about four, four and a half kilometers of forest. Oh, sweet. September or no, no September, pretty much have no choice but to take out my boots on this one. And it gets, over there you can see it gets, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I can see it definitely comes up to at least my knees. Well, and there's this. There's a risk here, right? If I slip, fall in, I will definitely, like even standing, I will definitely get water in over top of my boots. If I fall sideways, well, I'll get half my pack wet, plus myself. But it looks nice and dry. I think I'll give it a shot. <laughs> well, I went up to here, I was using my poles, like, into the water, and then I got here, and I bailed. <laughs> Whatever, man, it'll take me 20 minutes to get my shoes off and back on, so why am I doing that, right? Okay, done. On that tree, I figured there was like a 50% chance I was gonna fall off. I just, you know, with a big backpack and your balance isn't great when you're tired. Here, there's like a 99% chance I get across without falling, so. It's worth it. Nice. Shortly after that stream, you can come get right down beside the Castle Guard River. came over here and then I thought I would get out to this I had stepped here and I sank right down like right down here like ah! <laughs> so I turned back immediately but uh, oh my god it's beautiful in here <sighs> fabulous what a day too there's barely a cloud in the sky oh amazing Temporarily lost the river. It was good while it lasted. Nice. The trail has taken a turn for the worse. I did expect this. I know this trail just gets worse and worse and worse the farther you go. 
So you get all the way to Castle Guard Meadows. The hard stuff, well, even harder anyway, is coming up. Oh, a nice little bear patch, good. Well, I'm at a random camping spot and the crossing, which I can pretty much just rock hop. I don't think I go over there. I don't know, I'll have to find my way out. And then uh, Utrum's outlet is like a kilometer and a half maybe, something like that. I keep calling it different things. Utrum's outlet, Utrum's falls, Utrum's shower. Anyway, it's over there. That's kind of cool. All right, so, so clear. Well, actually the trail on the other side is pretty easy to spot, so no problem. Okay, back to the river. Some more very impressive views. Phew. Well, you can see there's some old trail work here. This trail follows the river for a while and a few parts it gets adventurous, but so far so good. Hasn't vanished yet, expecting it to. Okay, it happened. Here's the trail, here's the trail, and pow, it's been gobbled up. So, I have to uh, bushwhack through this uh, fun stuff until the trip, uh, trail shows up again. Okay, that didn't last too long and now I've come to this. So hopefully this lasts a bit of time. Well, there's a, there's a bit of blaze. And up there you can see a cut. You get the sense that the trail was like right here once upon a time. Oh, and I can see a red flag up there. Okay, so I just gotta work my way up to this and then hopefully I find something. Well, that was the trail. It's so overgrown that you actually sometimes think you just lose it entirely and then you get it back again. Whew. All right. Keep her going here. Blue ribbon, the creek. Making progress, it's slow, but making progress. Wow. Huh. Well, the way you get around this thing is the trail comes up along here, and then you come up to a place where it just comes out of nothing, nothing. That's a lot of water, man. Pretty cool. Trail has become almost unfollowable now. I think what's been happening is when you get down to the river at one point, the horse parties leave and go to Watchman Lake. And so the trail takes a significant downturn it's tough to follow, you know, I've got little things like this, you know, that's some of my only clues, really old trail work, all right? Some old blazes. Anyway, the challenge gets a little stiffer, continuing forward, right? Well, I found uh, Utrum's outlet. Like this is where everything comes out of the rock. Down there, oh. down there is uh, Utrens Falls. Uh, from here, I really don't know where to go. I just know that I should probably head like that way, which is going to be just a nasty bushwhack, right? I lost the trail up there someplace, but I don't know what to do about it. 
it's like I said, basically unfollowable. Anyway, I'm gonna have myself some lunch hanging out here. Why not? It's simple, it's light, and it's almost 400 calories. Well, this is crunch time. I have to dig deep. This is where it's a bushwhack. And I just gotta go find the trail, right? There's nothing else to it. It's tough, but I gotta dig deep and figure it out. There's no two ways around it. hands decision time there's a dry creek bed here comes up goes kind of into the side of a cliff there I think I'll go down here and cross there and carry on. This hasn't been too bad. I've been trying to side hill, so not climb, not descend. Yeah, but you can see sometimes the forest does open up, so not horrible. Awesome. Found a trail. Woo! Okay. We are rocking and rolling now, baby. Man, look what happens to the Castle Guard River here. Holy crap. Crazy. Well, I found the trail, but now it is gonna be climb, climb, climb to Castle Guard Meadows. And it's in bad shape, right? There's constantly stuff tugging at your arms. So I'll be doing this a lot. I mean, I'm, this is how I rest. I'm straight up lying down on my pack. So this is the only way to get your back some rest. Check out these two. This is very unusual on the trail. Not even sure what you are. Spent a lot of time in the mountains in this general area. I don't think I've ever seen these two. Huh. Okay then, I can see one little cut piece right there which confirms my suspicion that the trail is right through all this. Ah, good fun. All right, let's play where's the trail. Oh, goes up this way. Okay. Evidence, old trail work, always helpful. Oh Ooh, yeah, this is good fun. It's already my third break. My last break, since then I've gone a whopping 350 meters. Oh. I'm not even close. Oh man, I just took my pack off to fling it over a big tree and climb over it. And now look, <laughs> my God. Oh Lord. All that nice clear area up there. Oh. Well, could 
you kept going before I took break number five, but why would you not take a break here? Outstanding. It's a glacier, you know. Too bad there's a couple of trees in the way, but yeah. Pretty sweet. Phew. Break number six. This is a good sign. Starting to thin up. Huh. Oh, this is a glorious sight, let me tell you. I think my climbing is done. Well, I'm surrounded by mountain greatness. Gotta love passes and uh, high altitude meadows. They are super cool. Cool. It looks like so much fun up here. I can't wait. I can't wait to explore tomorrow. I really can't. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything official, but apparently there is a privy up here of all things. Well, this is where the trail brings you, but I can't find anything here. Aside from an obvious water source and a pretty cool vol not volcano, waterfall. There is camping indicated on the map up there, like 200 meters, 300 meters. So I think I will go up there and check it out. Very cool rock formations. All right, keeping my eyes peeled for a privy up here someplace or a sign or whatever. Oh, what do you know? The waypoint is actually over here, so I would have to cross this. Not so bad. I'll drop my bag, have a good look around, and then maybe I'll head over there. At the same time, I can just walk back over there and camp down there. There was nothing wrong with that. Well, it happened. I tried to rock hop and slipped off. Water in the top of my boots, so... Oh. <laughs> I have no one to blame but me. Well, you look at that. I found it. Doesn't even look in bad shape. Well, I had to hammer the door to get it open this much. But, toilet paper, there's rope, and this is perfectly usable. Cool. Well, I wandered on down to the water, where I, it's supposed to be like a tent area, and I found a little trail coming up. And here we go. Figured I would at least find something, all right? And here is an old sign of some kind. Yeah, so old that you can't even read what it was. No chance, no chance at all. Just spotted all this. Leaving gar garbage behind is certainly not a new practice. Why would anyone bring glass out here? I don't know. Well, it was a long, hard day. And I'm eating chicken gumbo. An amazing place. A beautiful day. Cheers to that, man. There's not even any insects up here. There's something to be said for September backpacking. All right, I'm all set up, I'm eating. So, 
I saw a thing where a guy went down, guy and his buddy, went down this guy, and they went down to the cave. Now, well, they went down to the cave, I should say, and they followed it all the way down to the river, this uh, stream. Now, that's a little much for me, as far as I'm concerned, right? So I'm just gonna go see the cave uh, now. I think I have time. And it's supposed to be only like 350 meters down. And then tomorrow, I can uh, go up and explore around in the meadow, all right? Go up to the pass where Athabasca, where Saskatchewan Glacier starts. Anyway, let's go see if I can't find this cave. Well, I crossed a little more intelligently this time. It's also much easier to do these things without your backpack on, all right? All right, now just this little guy, which is deeper than I thought. Surprise. Ugh. All right. Got to say, it's nice to go for a nice, pleasant evening stroll. No backpack. That feels nice. Nice features to check out, right? It's pretty flat so far. I know I'll have to go down. It's, uh, yeah, really nice. Wow, look what I found. Good God. Holy crap. Woo! Wow. Crazy. The stream breaks in two and now you have so now you have two waterfalls, right? Oh I never expected to find something like this. It took me like five minutes. One way over there too. Cool. Well, I have a few <clears throat> different waypoints for the cave. One of them is like right here underneath this waterfall. That is not Castle Guard Cave. I saw what it looked like on a YouTube video. But there is an empty canyon going up here. So I think I'm gonna get across this and try walking up beside it, see what happens. Okay, I actually didn't go right where I said I was. I went hunting around over there some, and then I went and crossed the creek again near my campground, and then I came over here, and instead of finding a massive chasm like that's over there, I find another tiny little creek. So now let's follow this. I did not know this was here. Check this out. I don't smell anything, but you can see but there's like algae, white algae on here. It's been a while since I've seen this. Cool. Well, I'm surprised again. This goes down there and it makes the little waterfall that I saw earlier. That massive chasm, I went around it somehow. How does this happen? And I can hear the massive waterfalls over here. Okay. <laughs> All right, I gotta walk back up this uh, algae, uh, you know, algae stream and head over that way. I was stuffed right in between where I explored. Look at that, I even got a clear shot of the falls from here. All right, I still think that the cave might be up this one. I gotta find my way over there. I found where the chasm starts. This must have been the route 
of the river once, and now it goes over there and drops off the, the face over there. Well, I haven't found the cave yet, but that, this means I can go down there and check things out from down there. This is cool. I am so glad I went coming, coming looking for this cave. Doesn't matter if I find it or not. I've had plenty of fun. Well, I keep getting better and better shots of this. Very cool. Wow. I am in a special, special place, man. Very few people have ever come here. Well, this is as far as I go. You can see here too that I'll get uh, clipped out, you know, cornered off by the rock, and then I don't have to cross. And I mean, look at everything that's going on here, right? It'd be death if I crossed and fell. How awesome. My God. I'm going to sit here for a little while and just chill. That was so cool. What an awesome explore. Like, just exploring around hike after all the hike, the backpacking. It pretty much made me forget all the work I did up here to get up here. Oh. Who knew? Who knew? That was awesome. Well, that is a successful backpack day in anyone's book. Oh my God. That was awesome. I have more stuff I want to accomplish on this trip, but you know, before I head back, but I feel like that was the, the hardest. The hardest stuff right there. Tomorrow is going to be a glorious day hiking day of just walking up to the glacier, not the glacier, the pass, uh, four kilometers away apparently, exploring all this and just having a grand old time, right? No backpack. Uh, my back has certainly used the brake. We'll see how long that takes and then uh, I'll make a decision as to what I'll do at the end of the day. I just spend another night here or maybe go back down and spend it by uh, Utram's shower. All right, what a day. This is time to get some well-deserved rest. Good night.